Hello folks, hope you're having a great day, evening, wh wherever you're at. Uh, before I talk about, you know, are your expectations of people too high, I um, want to read a review. It actually just came in today on Amazon. I got a, a short five-star review of um, Sitting with God, A Journey to Your True Self Through Centering Prayer. Let me read it because it, it, it was, uh, I loved it. And so thank you so much. So as you finish the book, you know, please take a moment just to write a short review on Amazon. I would really appreciate that. And it will help others discern if the book is, is a fit for them. So thank you so much for those that are putting reviews out there. And even if you read it quite a while ago and didn't get around to a review, you know, take a moment now and, and do it. I'd, I'd really appreciate it. So thanks so much. Let me just read this to you before I jump into uh, what I want to talk about. Um, the review, the five-star Amazon review. This is an outstanding book on both the process of silence before God and the benefits of that silence. But more than just benefits, it has helped me increase my love for God. Adding to the authenticity of praying in silence is the tradition of silence in many belief systems. Readable and elegant in its simplicity. So love it, love it. Thanks so much for, for this review. I, I really, really appreciate it. So are your expectations of people uh, too high? Let's talk about that. So are my expectations of people too high? You know, are, are your expectations of people too high? Uh, perhaps I expect more from people you know, than they can currently give. You know, I, am, I am loved by God. You know, that, that really is all I need. When I connect to God, I learn how to love. I learn how to serve. You know, I learn how to accept people you know, where they are at. You know, my job is to get up from my silent sits and love others and, and serve others. That is it. And, and, and I need a strong base in, in order to do this. And my base grows stronger and stronger as I water it with these, these silent centering prayer sits. You know, my centering prayer sits give me what I need and they'll give, they'll give you what you need. And, and God knows what that is, and that's that's the neat thing is, you know, God uh, knows each of us obviously individually, and God, I think of it as a reverse prayer. God is praying in in us what we need during our silent sits. So our job is to simply just sit with God and trust God and let God pray in us what we need. Um, you know, these sits show me the way forward. They they teach me how to surrender, trust and rely on God. And the bottom line is, you know, I am loved by God and I am enough. And when I am one with God, that's when miracles happen. And and if you think about it, they're they're not really miracles. They're really they're actions infused by the Holy Spirit within because we are at one with God. We are letting go because that's what we do during centering prayers. We let go and we open to this powerful, infinite presence and we let it act in us. So maybe what we perceive as, as miracles in our lives, they're not necessarily miracles. They're simply we are at one with God. We, we are plugged into God and we are letting God infuse us with action. And we're getting up from our sits and, and taking powerful actions because we're trusting God and we're letting you know our human body animate the actions and express the, the, the spirit within and that that's what I love about centering prayer is you know I sit with God because I love God and I trust God God seems to have other plans God prays in me what I need and God will pray in you what you need and then I get up from my sits and my job is to trust God and, and if I feel a nudge to get out of my comfort zone and try and do something new, I need to do it. And I need to trust the spirit within. Uh, the spirit within, God will feed me what I need to keep moving forward and doing and accomplishing you know, wonderful things in, in my life. So I, I hope you found that helpful. You know, I started off by talking about, you know, are your expectations of others too high? high and and really kind of ending it with we, we don't need to rely on other people's expectations of us everybody is at a different place in their life we simply need to rely on on god and and, and the spirit of god within us to feed us 
to heal us, to transform us, to, to nourish us, to show us, show us the way forward. Hope you found that helpful. Much love to all of you. Take care.